Assalamualaikum guys So welcome to lecture level 6 For this lecture we're gonna talk about uh, VR hardware part 1 So there will be a part 2 coming out So let's dive in Still with me, Dr. Ulka here So there are 4 things we're gonna talk about today Which are The first is degree of freedom and the second is Google Cardboard since we use Google Cardboard for this semester and then the Google Cardboard implementation and finally the exercise so let's begin with degree of freedom or DOF 3DOF versus 6DOF for VR headset so this is the um, example of the Google Cardboard, guys. Okay, this is how you can use the headset. What is the OF actually? The OF refers to number of ways of rigid object which can move through 3D space. Okay. So remember it's about number of ways that move through 3D space based on virtual speech in 2019. So DOF is very important. Why? Because it allows human movement to be converted into movement within VR environment. So uh, our movement will be converted into VR movement in the VR environment is because of this DOF okay so in total there are six degrees of freedom which describes every possible movement of object okay so there are the first is x-axis you move only in axis in y-axis i mean which is or aka yo and then second axis or pitch okay x-axis i mean y-axis aka yo x-axis aka pitch and z-axis aka roll and the fourth is y-axis up or down x-axis left or right and z-axis front or back so these three things are the rotation okay and the other three below are the position so whether you move based on the y-axis or x-axis or z-axis the body all your body move guys but the first three is only your head rotation okay so which are the position or DOF that acquired by Google Cardboard so only the each yaw and roll so these are the three that Google cardboard has so which is only 3 DOF how about the other headset like oculus stc5 they have all the six okay which is back right left and forward and also up or down okay so let's talk about the 3 DOF first okay and this is the 3dof all right so you only can see the how your head move okay based on your rotation of your head that's what can be translated into VR environment all right so this is a guy wearing the headset okay each yaw and roll how about the 6DOF? 
it can translate the position also up or down back or forward and left or right so yep as what i said 3d of is only about rotation and 6d of is rotation and position so what the 3d of does it allows when you see look left or right and rotate your head up or down or pivot left or right so that's what the Google cardboard can do for you but again all the rotation of user so When you move your body to back, forward, or left or right, it cannot be tracked in Google Cardboard. But in Oculus or STC5 or other 6D OF headset, it is possible to track. So this is the 3D OF example. Okay. Uh, this is Google Cardboard. The way how you do it is you put your phone inside and you see it from these two eyes. <laughs> and this is Google Daydream. Google uh, produced back in 2014. Same. It's just uh, the modern version of Google Cardboard. You can see the two eyes are here and this is the phone and this is the remote control. Okay, besides Google Cardboard and Google Daydream, there are also Oculus Go. So there are many types of Oculus. So this Oculus Go came out in the early, uh, earliest version of 3D OFs of your headset before they came out with their 6D OF headset and Pico Goblin, Samsung Gear VR also of course LG 360 VR and Pimax 4K alright so yep it's only for your pitch and roll it's head orientation only you can also view 360 video and ambisonic All right, so this is how it's your pitch and roll. Besides the Google Cardboard, you can also buy this on Shopee. Okay, this is quite cheap, which is only 16 ringgit 90 cents. It's free shipping. And I think they have uh, the one in KL. You don't have to ship from China. So I really suggest you to buy this to do your project. Okay. So this is uh, same with Google Cardboard. It's just not in cardboard. And I have this as well. This is pretty good for you guys as a beginner in VR. So this is how you're going to... Uh, View okay in VR using Google Cardboard. So let's play this video. Yep, you can see like this. It's basically similar with uh, VR 6D F headset. It's just that it can track the head rotation only. Hmm. This looks like a temple or a Minecraft. Well, anyways, this is how you can see the 360 photos, guys. So let's play it again. This is using cardboard camera. Yep, you can see 360. Yep, this is how you put your phone. You can see the picture in 360 and it's gonna be so clear like a panorama feature in your camera 
I plan for you guys to do this as well so you understand the basic things about VR. Use the 160 picture. So, how does it work basically? So it works by using sensors in your phone, which are, there are three sensors that are needed for Google Cardboard to view the VR to you from your phone, which are the accelerometer, magnetometer, and gyroscope. Okay, all these three are in your phone. So these are the sensor input, and then Uh, by the same time, it has the application processor or SOC. Okay, the GPU and CPU in your phone. Okay, and then at the same time, it has the VR content what you want to see. Okay, uh, from your phone as well. Alright, and then finally, Google Cardboard is to view it. Okay. So basically, if you have these three sensors in your phone, you are able to view VR from your phone. So where you can find it, this is the uh, smartphone these days, though now it's more sophisticated. So these three things, accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer, you can find it here. Okay. Uh, below camera and besides you also have ambient light sensor here touchscreen microphone and the GPS well what are actually accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer functions are so you really have to be thankful for your smartphone so the average smartphone has at least 10 sensors, guys, and here are the most common. Okay, let's begin with the accelerometer. So if you wonder how your phone, how you can see or watch Netflix and YouTube, and it can be vertical or horizontal, this is because of the accelerometer. So. Thank you, Accelerometer, for allowing me to watch Netflix. And then, what about the gyroscope? Gyroscope is for you to correct the camera shake. Okay? So, if you take non blurry, so you have to really thankful for the gyroscope because it allows you for taking non blurry pictures. And also, gyroscope has many other functions, which are to straighten the picture and many others. Okay, and magnetometer. What does it do? It measures the strength of the magnetic field around the device to determine what direction it is moving. That's why the glue cardboard needs these three. Okay. How about the others? You also have fingerprint, right? So, yep. It's very useful for privacy. And thermometer. Uh, my iPhone, before I change to Android, is always like in a hot temperature. So, I think thermometer works really well. And the light sensor. So if you uh, turn in the dark, it will be bright. And pedometer, fitness element. So if you can uh, jogging using your phone, they can count your steps, right? It's really, really useful, guys. 
and the others are camera course, it's really important these days and microphone yep and proximity sensors so please take care of your phone and but still don't be too attached to it okay so this is what the gyroscope and magnetometer and accelerometer does to the Google Cardboard I mean to your phone so the yaw is the z-axis the pitch is the x-axis and the roll is the y-axis so this is the question how to check whether your phone is able to use VR or not hmm. that's a good question so you can go to this uh, link okay you can use this VR checker right you can check whether your phone can use VR or not they will check whether you have the gyro accelerometer and magnetometer right so please do for the iOS I think they also have in the Apple store so please check whether your phone is uh, capable for fear or not but I think most of the smartphone these days are able to fear VR. okay so this is the first activity for you let's start to view the 360 video so go to YouTube and search for 360 video move your phone as it I as it is your eyes to see the environment left right up and above okay this is without Google cardboard guys but if you have Google cardboard or VR box please put your phone inside there okay so you can experience the whole thing and then however without your Google cardboard you can still see it okay but it's not so immersive so this is the example of the 360 video okay there are many 360 video these days on Facebook YouTube uh, showing about the for example historical sites or the beautiful scenery okay this is those are good as well but uh, this is one of the most um, I think useful 360 video contents uh, that I have encountered so far so this video shows how you escape from the submerge car okay so they will uh, show you how you can escape from a submerge car which is really useful for you if you have this kind of situation during rainy days okay so please find this video and watch it so you can apply it later yeah I hope you don't have to be stuck in this kind of situation but in case and besides the 360 videos also have been used these days by musicians especially during this pandemic okay last year many uh, musicians did concerts through 360 videos one of them are Noah from Indonesia so they did a um, music concert using 360 videos where their fans can watch them in 360 videos so even though it's online but they can still see their um, their stars in full uh, how to say in full view immersive they can uh, when so when the fans see them and watch them through YouTube in 360 videos they can watch and see uh, from all direction left right up down okay so they can see it like they watch it in real life even though they're at home so this is really good um 
implementation of VR in entertainment industry. Previously, also uh, Yura and Reza Rahadian did their 60 music videos, which uh, you can watch their music video in turn 60. So, yep. Well, besides watching turn 60 videos on YouTube or Facebook, you can also download the VR mobile apps. Okay, for example, okay, this is one of my favorite app called Within. Within uh, has many uh, documentaries, short films, basically extraordinary stories in VR. So you can download it and just choose any video you want in Within application or you can also uh, go to their website. Okay, so please try. You can also try other application such as this Google Cardboard, Kodai VR, okay, VR Trials, Jurassic VR, VR Terror. Within you can see the stars, it's quite high compared to the others. New York VR, they uh, have put their, I think, their newspaper articles or pictures of New York Times, or if I'm not mistaken in fear so please try and there are many other fear okay so let's our fear space is really cool as well okay so yep guys and also sites fear it's good for historical sites so please try one of them and experience all right Okay, besides 160 videos, small of your application, this one you can try without Google Cardboard. This one, please uh, use Google Cardboard or VR box. But this one, Web VR, you can just view it on website. So, this is so cool. Okay, so not many of you know that. The Google came out with experiments, which is web VR experiments. They are now making it to web XR, which allow AR and VR together. So yeah, you can go to this website and see their experiments. You can also submit experiment. Okay, it's really good. So this is one of the game that I <laughs> played before. It's a ping pong game, a uh, two player VR game. So please try and have a look how proficient you are in ping pong. And the second one, the Blow No Way website. This is mind blowing, guys. I saw this website and this is, I would say, mashallah. Everything is perfect. The design is perfect. The UI is perfect. The story is perfect. So I really recommend you guys. I strongly recommend you guys to watch this website. Old Pollinator Park. Okay, this is how it looks. You can see already. It's so beautiful, right? And you can see the UI. This is the story book, the diary. And the help button and the setting so this is the diary from uh, the doctor who is the creator of this uh, website VR okay this is really cool guys because by sh by reading the her by reading her handwriting you can feel the connection with her right A personal connection with her so this is a really good um, way of storytelling in VR and these are the pages so yep uh, please go to the website and fill the experience the second one is if you like history and you want to escape to the ancient times 
you can go to this website called Rome's Invisible City. It's a VR experience developed by BBC. And anyway, this website is developed by EU Commission, European Union Commission. That's why it's really, really good, guys. Because the budget is also good. Okay, so this is an interface for uh, Raw Mansion City. Really good UI, so I really hope when you design your VR, you can also apply this. How to use this experience. Okay, this is the home button. You explain it to the user. And this is uh, information. And what about this? This is the arrow, navigation. So all the things are important for VR. So they have two uh, buildings to be covered in this VR experience, which are the first is Pantheon. Okay, they use 3D scanning, guys. So they scan all the pictures from the previous uh, Rome's city. Okay, so it looks so ancient. Yep, and you can see the people there. And these are the navigation. Okay, if you wanna go to Mount, you wanna go to Big Marks, and this is the information. This is in the cave, guys. So when you click home, they will ask you yes or no. This is really good. Uh, it's called confirmation message. And this is the information. So when you click, they will come up with the information. What is that about? So in this case, it's about fountain in the ancient Roman. And you can see they you can view it in Google Cardboard as well or with a Google Cardboard. And you can also of course full screen it. So uh, I have tried this experience and some of the interactions is quite lagging and sometimes it's not functioning, but it's still really cool and you guys have to learn from it because the UI is really good for beginners. And it makes me remember when I went to Doga. Uh, Doga is uh, an ancient city in Tunisia. It's also built by Romans people and Algem. So this is totally like that. Like you were in the ancient village and it's successfully transferred me to that moment. All right, so that was the second fear for history and this is fear for marketing guys so if you want to hold an event you can also create the website in VR which is really cool this website is in 360 and you can see all the information there about the program the schedule the speakers the location Wow this is developed by a Russian Russia company. So these are the speakers. Okay, you can view it 360, so it's um, circle. All right. So lastly, um, after you saw all the website, VR VR website, and then mobile VR application and also 360 videos or 360 panoramas or image please tell about your experience for each the platform the feeling or emotion the interaction the usability uh, what are the differences okay the uniqueness of each platform and which one do you prefer so I really so I really hope after you experience all these three you have the idea for your project how your project should be how is the ui what are the interactions how are the 3d models so please okay i really hope you can use this as a benchmark as well since um you haven't tried the 
six do we have headsets so at least we have the idea uh, how is VR okay all right guys you have you can write it or you can film yourself or you can write I mean you can draw it as in poster I don't limit it because I know you are creative students uh, you can deliver your work in creative ways right so please uh, deliver it by latest 30th of April which is next week at 5 p.m. All right, you can just try one uh, one video or one VR app or one web VR, guys. If you want to try more, it will be better, okay? So I'm really looking forward for your review. I really hope you have a nice day and have a good virtual and reality life <gasps> thank you see you next week for any question you can always email me yep or text me in the group okay thank you so much it was a pleasure for delivering this lecture to you i see you in a happy and healthy condition hopefully sooner so bye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh